Oh, jeez. There's a clip on Discord? What clip? There's a clip? What what clip are you talking about? <laughs> if y'all ain't a part of my Discord, then y'all probably can't see the video that my my super gracious and amazing mod Broken Mouse 345 had made of my last stream, where in like a five five plus hour stream, I had sixteen actual minutes worth of ranting about real fake doors and let me tell you what you can't get any better than a real fake door yeah he made a youtube video edited everything i mentioned like ranting about what's a real fake door a real fake door is anything you want it to be okay usually you can use it in your house as like a, you know a conversation piece you should put you put like five of them in your foyer they look like a real door they look like one they're made out of real wood but they're not a real door you go up to them they have working handles working locks working peepholes but they don't move you know they have hinges but they're hinged on both sides so you got real fake doors you walk around i mean hell even i get confused from time to time at my place because like the the first floor has about seven doors, all different colors. I was thinking, you know, why not be inclusive? I wanted to see what kind of color scheme would go with the feng shui. And no, it's a real fake door. Because a fake real door would mean the door works like a door, right? So it works like a door. As for like, like if, yeah, fake fake real doors, it's a, it's a real working door made of fake wood. But a real fake door is real wood, fake usage. You get it? Re real and real fake. You gotta look at the fine print. Like the, under the the 27 page contract that I've constructed for every real fake door merchandise purchase, at the 17th page on the 247th line under Chapter 5, Section 6. B parentheses C code A, it says that. All right, real fake doors compared to fake real doors. Real fake. It's made of real wood, no actual access. You can work with it. Right, you can work with it, rotate the knobs. I mean, if you want to get a little crazy, you can use little like lock picks, get on in there and try to work on your lock pick skills. You know, life's an RPG, but it's what you make it, right? That's what I like to always say. And uh, it's just, it's crazy. Like, it, the, the business is booming, right? Because everybody wants one. Everybody wants one. You want one. I want one. She wants one. He wants one. I mean, hell, I'll put an order right now for like 15 pallets if you want. But if you want some inventory, I got the inventory. Okay, they're really great. Cheap price. We actually got a new wood in. We got a new wood in. It's a uh, rich cedar. It's a cedar. Okay. Not a two cedar. Not a four cedar. It's made of the tree. Cedar. C-E-D-A-H. Cedar. And, uh, oh, it works as intent. Let me tell you. It works more than intended. Okay. I've never had a bad review. Well, okay, let me do uh, I had one bad review, but we're not going to get into that. We had a little, uh, little falling out with a business partner, and he just, uh, he, he got on with the wrong crowd. Had to kick him out. He was, uh, he was selling real fake doors as fake real doors in the black market. You know, it's a little hush-hush, you know, you don't bark and bite at the same time. A little, a little tree humor there. Yeah, they work as intended. They do. You did come in at a good time, bro. And I was trying to tell people. You know, they, they asked. They asked. I think, where, where did it start? Um, talked about the clip and arena. She happened to ask, so I go salesman on her. I go salesman on her. I have to. It's just what I do. You can't pass up on a good wood. No one passes up on good wood. Not me. Never. You come up to me and be like, hey, I got some of the best wood you could ever hope for. You can't wait to get your hands around this wood. I'm like, yeah, I can't. I can turn those into real fake doors, real lickety split, okay? That's profit. Out, you know, in one hand, and I'm just chunking them like this, you know? Door here, door here, real fake doors, out the door. Out my fake real door, I, don't get me wrong, I purchased fake real doors for my shop, but it's only to show them, like, they have to walk through their competitor's door to see how stupid it is to come in and see our product, to see how real it is. It's just it's a marketing ploy, you know what I mean? I even put on the sign, or on the door outside, this is a fake real door, don't buy it. I'll buy it for you so you save yourself the pain or some bullshit. So all real fake doors are made of the best real fake doors. Okay, Pinocchio, he used to be a supplier. So Pinocchio used to be a supplier of real fake doors. He had like this really specific niche wood. A lot of, lot of high-end buyers wanted to get, and we used to think, we used to think that it was like this... It's basically like, it's the equivalent of saying, like, you're so rich, you've had every meat in the world, right? 
and uh, you want to try something exotic, something that's on the endangered species list, like a bald eagle. Maybe you want to have bald scrambled scrambled eggs with bald eagle meat. That's what Pinocchio wood was. Like we would try and see if we could. The best way to get his wood was to get him to lie. Right? He would lie all damn day. He'd lie down. He lied sideways. He lied to us. He lied to you. He lied to me. He lied to his mom. He's a liar. We'd have to get him like to really. A really like a really big lie. See if you catch my one. It was the best wood you could get. A liar's wood. It was the best wood. But then we found out it wasn't even his wood at all. He was so he was a liar about being a kid made of wood. He was just shaving down sticks and saying it was his nose wood and we were putting it together and making real fake doors out of what we considered rich wood. It wasn't wood. I just went on another rant about real fake doors. You just had to ask the question. I start seeing things in the chat, I can add them. It's like a never-ending story. It's the never-ending story. And you mix that with Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, and you're opening fake real doors into the Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> Make a, I'm gonna have a series. I'm gonna have a series of real fake doors based on things I see in chat. It's gonna happen. Probably gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, Pinocchio. Kick rocks, kid, you little shit. You sold us some bad wood. We never want to get our hands around your wood ever again. I'd rather have Geppetto's wood. Mmm, that older, seasoned, aged, full of wisdom wood. But we can make some real, some really, really good, real fake doors with that shit. Could you imagine the silver fox wood? I feel like we would have a line we would call, uh, Daddy Issues. Real fake doors. Daddy Issues line. Have you really been wanting a real fake door, but you're tired of the ones that haven't aged just right in the uh, in the warehouse, haven't got that right stain? Well, let me introduce you to the Silver Fox line. Older wood, definitely got a little wear and tear, but it's right for you. You don't want none of that new age crap. You want that old slick back, listen to a vinyl record kind of real fake door. That Silver Fox door, sipping on a nice 15 year old scotch door. Real fake doors keep daddy from going to get milk edition. See, now, there'd be a lot of, there'd be a lot less broken homes, okay, if we had a lot more real fake doors. I mean, could you imagine the dad or mom or whatever, just a brother, cousin, auntie, uncle, whatever, they're, they're like, you know what, I do need to go to the gas station or the, the quick, and you're like, no, daddy, no, mama, don't go, don't worry, I, you know, Papa G's got you covered with the real fake door merchandise, merch line doors everything bags toads go to the website real fake doors for fake whores.gov they'll stop your, your 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 loved ones from going out it might change their mind you know like you 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 sit there and you're like whoa i actually don't need milk i don't need cigarettes you saved me from a horrible choice in my life and they stay there for the next 25 years and you're never broken unless your name is broken a lot less broken homes and you have a lot more real fake doors at home yeah leaving for milk no, the real fake door. Real fake doors save real lives. And they save your little daughter's life becoming a real big whore, okay? I would rather my offspring become whores for doors. We're door whores in this family. We only love on doors. I and mean, we go that far. We go that far. I mean, we have to know that the wood is loved. Emotionally and physically. They love. They really are. Every second. Every edge. Is loved by this company. Does it save real fake lives? No, it saves real lives. There's nothing fake about a life. I like to whisper sweet nothings to my door. It only took me, what, two hours and 45 minutes to start talking about real fake doors? No big whores. When you got some authentic Philly made real fake doors. I like that. I like, and a lot of those, we like to have our Liberty line, our laid back Liberty line. You know, that like we come in, like you say you, know, like you have a house, it's kind of like the foundation shifted. We have the door for you. So these doors come free slanted, right? Like these, the other doors are straight up, right? They're straight up. These, no, pre-slanted for your messed up foundation. You don't want to mess with the foundation. That's too much money. What I got for you is a real fake door for your slant. But these, these have a special addition or special, uh, what do you call? Yeah, an additive to the equation. This real fake door actually works when you say it should work. So you want to replace your real door, you can use this real fake door because it's a slant. Now, the reason why we call it the laid back Liberty line, laid back, slant, Liberty, it's from Philly. Philly made, Philly custom. It's got the, the bell on it. From 1776, some old fuckers signed some shit and uh, they were like, we like this bell, we like to keep the crack. I'm like, I mean, who doesn't like a little crack every once in a while? You crack some salt, crack some pepper on your scrambled eggs, boom, you're good to go. I understood what they meant. You put a little crack Liberty bell right on those doors. The laid-back Liberty Line. Wouldn't it be amazing? I mean, you can even show off your insufferable patriotism to America 
by just filling your house with my 15 pallets of useless liber laid back Liberty Line real fake doors. I don't want them. I have too much of them. You take them. I'm done with it. What? Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? Laid back Liberty Line only, 1999. Like, I say I'm playing games, but I've probably only played a good 10 minutes worth of gameplay, but it's been sitting on this scene for like, what, 20 minutes? Forgive me, Your Grace. We didn't buy enough real fake doors. I hate to interrupt, but your subjects will soon arrive. Maybe we can get them to make you some real fake doors. Our mascot is literally just a door. It's just the door. Welcome to Gregor Free Twitch Streamer, the number one gaming channel on Twitch.com. First, ask your dad or mom. He may be trying to sell you real fake doors. Of course, she has to be curious. He's trying to get into my drawers. Not like that. Trying to, like, my dresser drawers. Fucking weirdos. 